guys ever try to vlog with a teething baby? It's darn near impossible. But he is starving. He ate all of his oats this morning and then I started giving it puffs and then after like the 20th puff, Sarah said, why don't you give him some nutritious food? So uh, we're having apples. And uh, he's inhaling them. So he's real hungry this morning. Aren't you, buddy? Say, I'm not actually mean. I'm not actually a terror. I'm a sweet little boy. I'm just hungry. I'm hangry. That'll be the title of this video. Gabriel is hangry. Slip some Tylenol into his oatmeal. He's in a much better mood now. I don't know who he's trying to hand that puzzle piece to though. Gabriel, what are you doing? Hey, Gerardo, Gila, Edit, tell him what's up next. Rocky, where is that? Oh, yeah. The following has been rated LT. <laughs> what are you doing there, buddy? <laughs> If <laughs> you got yourself worked into a problem. And you got the hiccups. Can you get out? You need some help? I think this guy's ready for a nap. And he's doing all kinds of new things today. So it's definitely been a different day today. Woke up really upset, which is not typical. He's been climbing all over all kinds of stuff. And now we get inside the toy box. New kid every day, I swear. Little man's up from his nap. Chewing on his book light. <laughs> it's actually daddy's book light. <laughs> Time for lunch. <laughs> I know, lots of Gabriel eating in this video. We're gonna go to the park next. Uh oh. All right, we're going for a walk. It's super windy, so I apologize now for the wind, the wind noise. Weather's awesome again today. 75 degrees, windy, partly cloudy. Beautiful day in Texas.
we're back from our walk and our park time. It was extremely windy, so I couldn't really do much talking. I tried several times, but it was either big gusts of wind or traffic, so I couldn't really say what I wanted to say. Cat? What can we do to make the sheep side of the boat heavier? I know! We can add more sheep! <laughs> Gabriel's down for his nap. I knew it was time because he got real bitey. I don't know if you could see the wet spots. I got him kind of all over me. He, he, I think it's kind of the thing. He well, used to, when he was tired, he'd get real clumsy and kind of stumbly and fall down a lot. And then we knew that was, oh, he's getting tired. It's time for his bedtime. Now, I think he bites more when he's drowsy. And he bites and he doesn't let go and he pulls. Oh my goodness. Like you have to yell. You have to howl, you know, to get him to stop. And that makes him cry and then it's a mess. But yeah, probably got a bruise underneath that wet spot right there. When the baby naps, everybody gets a break. Well, Sarah is on her way home. Uh, we are about to go look at two new houses that came on the market today. Um, if you're a fan of the House Hunters series, uh, or if you haven't watched it, I'll put a link in the corner. If you're a fan of it, we're going to look at two houses today that are kind of like spot on, right where we want. Uh, they just checked every box based on the descriptions and the pictures. Now what we've learned so far is that the descriptions and the pictures are a pretty bad measuring stick you know when it comes to what the house is actually going to be like because we've seen some that we were like oh man these look great we're really excited about looking at this house and then we go and look at it and there are lots of issues that you can't really see in the pictures of the description or in the videos so I know some people are like, oh my gosh, why didn't you pick house three? Um, we have absolutely loved seeing y'all's picks, seeing, you know, what everybody, which house everybody would get. And almost, I can almost like visualize what you guys would do with that house based on all the videos that we've watched uh, of y'all's videos and kind of your style sense and everything. It's really neat. <laughs> and sometimes we're able to be like, oh yeah, I knew that happily ever minimal was gonna pick that house, you know. So it, it's been it's been really fun to watch. Um, I'm hoping that this weekend is the last one, just because we're kind of tired of house hunting. It's getting a little old, but uh, who knows? I don't know. Uh, but anyway, I'm gonna close the vlog here because when Sarah gets home, we're taking Gabriel next door, and we're going to look at those houses. So I'm gonna start shooting for this uh, for Monday's House Hunters video and uh, Sarah's got a lot of things to get done tonight to get ready for a big meeting she's got tomorrow so life's gonna get a little bit off balance here for the next few hours and honestly I don't want to have to think about filming or vlogging any of it uh, it'd be easier if I could just help her and take care of the baby so thank you guys so much for watching um, have an awesome weekend and we'll see you on Monday.